everybody, it's Mallory from Impact Program, and today's topic is oral sex. Now this refers to any act where you're using your mouth to stimulate a partner's penis, vagina, or anus. Um, it's a way to add variety to your sex life, and it's a really great option for people who want to be sexually active with a partner, but maybe aren't interested in or ready for vaginal or anal sex. But the big question is this, is oral sex necessarily safer sex? Well, in some ways, yes, oral sex is safer sex, and it can be thought of as a less risky alternative to vaginal or anal. There's no risk for pregnancy with oral sex, and while it's possible to give or get HIV during oral sex, the risk is much less than with vaginal or anal. But this does not mean that oral sex is risk-free. Pregnancy and HIV aren't the only things that we have to think about when it comes to protecting ourselves. There are many different kinds of sexually transmitted infections, called STDs or STIs for short, that you can get from oral sex, and they're really common. In fact, more than half of all people will get an STI at some point during their lifetime. In the U.S. alone, every year there are about 19 million cases of STIs, and about half of them are among youth between the ages of 15 and 24. The most common ones are chlamydia, gonorrhea, herpes, and syphilis. If you want to find out more about these specific infections, you can check out the links that are at the end of this video. But for now, let's focus on what you can do to keep yourself safe. Number one, get tested. A lot of people think that if you have an STI, you'll know it, but this isn't always the case. In fact, a lot of people that are infected show no signs of infection, or their symptoms are so mild that they just ignore them. So this means that getting tested is really important because it's the only way that you can know for sure. Um, a test usually involves a blood sample or a urine sample or a swab of some kind, so it's super simple and really worth your time. If you want to find out where you can get an STI test near you, you can check out the IMPACT program web website or you can check out the other links that are at the end of this video. And the second thing that you can do to take care of yourself is whenever you can, use protection. Although many STIs are treatable and curable if you do get them, preventing infection in the first place is really the ultimate goal. For oral sex on a penis, you can use a male condom, and that will act as a barrier between the penis and the other partner's mouth. Um, it's best for you to use flavored or unlubricated male condoms because the standard lubricated ones won't taste very good. For oral sex on a vagina or an anus, you can use something called a dental dam. Now this is a flat, rectangular piece of latex that you place over top of a vagina or an anus when you're performing oral sex, and it acts as a barrier in the same way as a male condom does for a penis. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the package. You can buy them flavored or you can get them unflavored and add flavored lube if you'd like. Um, a couple of things to keep in mind when you're using a dental dam. This won't stay in place on its own, so you're going to need to hold it in place while you're performing oral sex just to make sure it doesn't slip off or flip over. And just like male condoms and female condoms, dental dams are only good for one use. So don't reuse this on multiple partners or reuse it on multiple surfaces on the same partner because we don't want to be spreading around any potentially dangerous fluids. If you don't have access to dental dams, you can make one out of a male condom. You're just going to need a pair of scissors. And you'll take it out of the package and unroll it slightly. and you'll cut off the tip of the condom and then cut through the condom like this. And then when you unroll it, you end up with a flat rectangular piece of latex that works just the same as a dental dam does. If condoms or dental dams aren't options, either one, um, you can also use plastic wrap, a piece of plastic wrap. Um, just make sure that you're using the non-microwavable kind because the microwavable kind has small pores in it that may allow fluids to get through and we don't want that. So you definitely have some options when it comes to protecting yourself during oral sex. Just remember that the best kind of sex is safer sex. So take care of yourself and have fun. Thanks guys.